Welcome to the second part of the tutorials about the encoders which can be used with the drive monitor. In the last tutorial I showed you the location of the encoders in the FSD, the connection to the drive monitor and the configuration of an AB incremental encoder. In this video we are going to take a look at the configuration of a sine cos encoder, which is actually quite similar to the configuration of an AB incremental encoder. But let's consider this closer in the FSD. We start in the hardware configuration, where I have placed a CPU0 and a MOX0 again. Now we are going to place a sine cos encoder on the terminal of the MOX0. In the tab elements, under the register encoder, the sine cos encoder is located. Via simple drag and drop, we place it on terminal 1 of the MOX0. Let's have a look at the configuration by double clicking on the encoder icon. As I mentioned before, the configuration of the sine cos encoder is quite similar to the configuration of an AB incremental encoder. We also have the tabs motion type, scaling of the measurement system, counting direction, speed step, encoder splitter box and report. If you need more information about the configuration of these tabs, please take a look at the tutorial about the AB incremental encoder, where I have described them in more detail. However, the configuration menu of the sine cos encoder includes an additional tab, sine cos analog voltage monitoring. At the top of this tab we have the option to check the sine cos analog voltage. If the sine cos analog voltage check is enabled, the required relation between the sine and cosine voltage will be checked. This option increases the diagnostic coverage, because if the check detects an invalid voltage relation, the status bit in the motion data of the corresponding encoder will be set to invalid. If the parameter is not enabled, performance level D cannot be reached with a single sine cos encoder. Furthermore, there is the function increased resolution, which is especially relevant for low resolution encoder systems. The low resolution can lead to jumps in speed during signal acquisition. By activating the option increased resolution, the number of counting points is increased by a factor of 4. If the resolution of the speed measurement without sine cos increased resolution is already less than or equal to the internal representation of the speed value in the data type motion, then the activation of this option has no effect. With a click on the OK button, the sine cos encoder configuration is saved. That's it for the second tutorial. Now you've got to know the configuration of a sine cos encoder and you have seen that the configuration menus of the different encoders are structured quite similar, except of one additional tab. In the next and final video of this chapter, we will consider the configuration of the last encoder group, the SSI encoders.